migrants who caravaned from Central America are now in Tijuana. Customs gearing up to process them despite the president's warning to turn them away. 10 News reporter Mimi Alcala joins us live where they're preparing to march toward our border at any moment now. Good morning, Mimi. Good morning, Jason. Yeah, all or most of the migrants coming in from Central America have arrived in Tijuana. And we did speak with a man here in San Isidro this morning who tells us he saw a lot of them crossing over the pedestrian bridge yesterday through today. And uh, now they're waiting at the port of entry as they wait to ask the U.S. for asylum. Buses full of migrants from Central America have been arriving throughout the week. Yesterday, a number of mothers and their children showed up around 2 p.m. seeking shelter as they waited to ask for asylum. Through this journey, though, many of the people have been riding on top of trains from Honduras, Guatemala, El Salvador, and Nicaragua. Most say they're fleeing their home countries because of the violence and threats from gangs. But President Trump has been very clear about his stance on this issue, tweeting out that he instructed the Secretary of Homeland Security not to let these large caravans of people into the United States. The Secretary of Homeland Security also issued a statement saying, in part, anyone seeking asylum may be detained while their claims are adjudicated. Now, the Department of Justice is sending more staff to process the caravan. It's still not clear when the migrants plan on turning themselves into customs, but of course, this is something we will continue to watch for you and keep you updated on. For now, we are live along San Isidro border. Mimi Alcala, 10 News.